Okay, here are our goals for and goals against in the Halton video, in the Halton game. I like to show both goals for and goals against because there's a lot of opportunity to learn from the mistakes we make and the things we do right. Typically on a goal we give up, there's usually multiple things we did wrong and a goal we score, there's usually multiple things we did right. And I like to show you guys how those little things make a huge difference. So here is the first goal against, okay? Um, now, we're on the power play here, and I'm going to do this in high speed. I want to show you the whole power play to show you something. So we start off, the puck goes down the ice. We get it back up. We don't get it in deep. It's back down the ice. We get it in deep this time, but almost immediately it's right back up. We got to skate full length of the ice again. We break the puck out, we don't get it deep again, come back the other way, and now we are gassed, and it's in the net. So what you'll see in this video that I really want to highlight is that, hold on, let me go back here. This last puck retrieval, you can see we are gassed. Nobody's skating back, okay? Everybody, Sari's gassed. She's got no energy. We're slow to get back. We get outworked and it's in the net, okay? The reason this happened is basically not only was our shift long, but we have to be very mindful of the second period and how it's a very long change to get to your bench, okay? So anytime you're late in a shift, we can't be turning pucks over at the line, okay? We gotta get that puck deep so we can get our change in, okay? So that's the first thing is we got to be mindful of the long change in the second period and really avoid turnovers near the blue line. And then the second thing is when you're stuck on the ice, even though you're tire tired, you got to fight through it, right? We just got to fight through this. We kind of quit. We didn't, you know, you don't, you see people aren't really skating back. You can see Siri slow puck retrieval. And then you can just see a lack of urgency in front of the net. So, you know, that's the two pieces of advice I have for you guys, right? Is um, be careful of the long change in the second period. Um, you know, keep your shift short and uh, be careful of the turnovers at the blue line. And then when you do get stuck out there, you got to just fight through it. You know, just win the last 10 seconds of your shift and get off the ice. You know, if, if we battle there, maybe um, Zoe covers the puck and maybe uh, we get a line change and you know we're fresh again so just keep that in mind so that's goal number one so let's learn from that uh, goal number two is uh, this is a defensive positioning issue right here so you can see puck goes to the point all three forwards run out to the point you know that's not where we need to be and then both D run out to the puck here Girl is left all alone and it's in the net. Okay, we just gotta be mindful of our defensive positioning. So on this play, remember, we worked on it a little bit in camp. This is the right winger's player. Okay, right winger should be closing out here. Left winger maybe just above tops of the circles. Center should be halfway between the puck and the net. D each on their own side, okay? We all kind of get too puck focused. We have three players running too high and that leaves a three on two down low, okay, which we don't want. The D gets stuck here, both too close together, and it's in the net, okay? So that's a correctable thing. We haven't worked a lot on defensive positioning, but just keep that in mind. You don't wanna run around defensively. You also burn a lot more energy. Anyhow, those are the goals against. I don't wanna spend too much time on those. I wanna celebrate the things we did right this first goal is all about a fantastic four check okay just a really there's our bull there's our fox there's our high fox shot on net here we are haley's the new bull boom turnover there's charlotte in the high slot doesn't hesitate right look at that you got your bull in the, there's haley you got your fox nala right there ready to jump into it and you got Charlotte, stick down, high slot. It comes to her. She doesn't wait. She doesn't stick handle. She shoots. The goalie's not set. one nothing. Great goal. Great forecheck, guys. That goal was purely a forecheck. Goal number two, again, great forecheck. We get the puck deep. Always a good idea to get the puck deep. Haley passes to the point. We get a shot. 
We're first on the puck in this corner. And there it is. Again, we don't hesitate. The puck comes to you in the slot. And bang, it's in the net. Okay, great goal. Good four check. And then our third, you get shots on net and sometimes good things happen. Again, good puck pressure. We keep the puck in. We keep it in. We get a little pressure. Puck comes up to Ellie. And their D makes a bit of a mistake, but we get the puck back again. See, and that's why you don't want to rim it. See, here's a panic rim by their D. See, she's got all the time in the world. But instead of taking her time and making a play, she panics, puts it off the boards, and there's Ellie. Shoot it towards the net. It's in the net. 3 nothing. So, guys, what did we do well this game? We four-checked. At least two of those goals were just four-checked uh, well. We sh our shots were quick in front. I think we could have had a couple more goals if we went to the net a little bit more. And then, you know, some things we need to do better. Be mindful of those long shifts. They kill you, especially in the second period. And when you are tired, get that puck deep and make a change. Okay? Great game, guys. Great goals. See you at the rink.